हेलो एवरीवन एम सिद्धांत द चैप्टर नंबर इज सेवेंटीन एंड एटीन ऑफ द मॉड्यूल सी ऑफ द अकाउंट्स इज गोइंग टू बी डिस्कस्ड इन दिस एंड दिस इज अ बेसिक वन द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स आई एम कवरिंग सिंस टुमारो इज द एग्जाम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर द एग्जाम जस्ट डू द प्रोसेस एंड एवरीथिंग विल बी फॉलोड नाउ स्टार्टिंग दिस चैप्टर द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स okay this chapter name is company accounts so whatever we learn in this chapter depends on how the accounting is done in the companies for the particular company so for the making financial statement which com comprises of the balance sheet and the profit and loss account there is a format which is to be followed by the companies in order to uh, create in order to make financial statements and that uh financial statement is based on the format which is mentioned in the companies act of 2013 and the part 1 of the schedule 3 describes about the balance sheet and the part 2 of the schedule 3 describes described about the profit and loss account similarly in the last chapter when we are uh, discussing the bank accounts there the part a is there and the schedule 3 of the banking regulation act and part b of the schedule 3 of the banking regulation act but here in the companies act the companies act 2013 is applied for the company and the part 1 and the part 2 is for the balance sheet and the profit and loss account respectively now for any company let's say any company like reliance and it if this if that company has uh, any of the companies more than 51% of the shares then it's called a subsidiary so for reliance jio could be called a subsidiary because the more than 51% of the shares is with the reliance owner that's why now the shares are broadly classified into two types the equity shares and the preference shares the difference between the equity and the preference shares in the preference shares their the name preference has been applied because when the companies goes into liquidation the preparation the preference shares are taken care of first of before the equity shares holders so in the preference shares some more of the preference are provided and less of the inclusions in the board meetings or the shareholders are applied than the equity shares so in the equity more power of the voting is given but in the preference less power of the voting is given but other things are uh, at uh, preference as compared to the equity that's the main uh, funda okay in the preference shares it's of three types the cumulative the redeemable and the participating in the cumulative what does it mean let's say someone has the preference shares so the companies if in profit doesn't give the dividend every year so every year dividend will be uh, accumulated at one place and will be given to the person after some years and that dividend will not be lapsed it doesn't matter the company will perform how it will perform in the next year if it's in loss or gain the dividend that is accumulated will be given so the dividend are non lapsable and the um, preference is called preference shares is called the cumulative preference now redeemable redeemable which could be redeemed when we when the shares are issued in the shares itself it will be written that after how many years this shares can be redeemed even in the other way you can also understand like this if you have the shares you can sell it to the uh, secondary market that is the stock exchanges so it could be redeemable by by selling it and in some of the shares the particular year is written that after this much of time this shares uh, will be redeemable redeemable means it could be sold and the money will be comes to you after the selling and the next is participating okay this participating uh, sir, uh, pa participating preference shares has some rights or have rights over the surplus let's say some companies has in surplus after so after liquidation let's say if company is liquidating and uh, after giving all the capitals and uh, paying all the debts if the company has 
um, surplus surplus amount then these shares could be uh, distributed among the pa participating preference shares holders this is the things now the capital for any companies uh, when uh, how company runs the main uh, fuel or main blood for any company is the capital so in the any if any company forms um, it uh, prepares the memorandum of association and memorandum of uh, uh, articles of associations and the memorandum of association it forms and in the memorandum of association it has to write in its moa that is memorandum of association that how much money it could be allowed to take from the market let's say the company or the board members with its capacity or the with its uh, reach decides that we could availed maximum 50 crore of the rupees from the market so that amount which is mentioned in the moa the maximum amount the company could take from the market is the authorized capital that is 50 crore but let's say when the company got started and after two years it wants only 10 crore of rupees from the market at that point of time so it issues a share at that point of time and uh, only for 10 crore of rupees and that shares for the 10 crore is the issued shares next the company issued 10 crore of the shares and uh, there might be so many of people that they will take all the 10 crore of shares but there are chances that some people will not be interested and many people will not be interested and could uh, interested uh, total shares sold after the issuing of the 10 crore shares and the total shares sold is only 5 crore the only 5 crore of people subs subscribe for that shares so that is called a subscribed shares now after the 3 after the subscription of the shares what what happens the next procedure is the payment let's say 5 crore of the people have applied for the 10 crore of the shares now for the among the 5 crore of the people there are, might be some chances that some people doesn't have that amount or they don't have the money in their bank account so only let's say 3 crore of the people got the shares so the amount for the 3 crore of rupees or the 3 crore of, uh, amount from the 3 crore of the people is the paid up capital this is the gist okay next the allotment of the shares responsibility is with the regional stock exchange so, so after the paid up capital is paid now the shares is belongs to the person now the responsibility of allotment of the shares and uh, deductions of the amount from their bank account is with the regional stock exchange now the issue of the shares at par what does it mean the issue of the shares at par means it is equal to the face value what is face value it is mentioned in the moa that i have told you the authorized capital the amount of shares as well as the face value is mentioned in the moa and that is called the face value now the shares issued the possibility of the sharing uh, share issued is that it could be issued at par that is equal to the face value let's say here i took the example of the face value of rupees 10 and if it could be dis, uh, issued at discounted like let's say um and the company uh, knows that the, uh, I, I give you the example of the 10 crore of the shares but only 5 crore of the people took so in order to increase the amount of the people uh, let's say uh, uh, only 5 crore is taking now but in order to increase the what company do it it uh, stated in the newspaper or in the stock exchange that I am giving you the shares at discount so at 9 rupees a lot many of people are going to be interested so it will increase the number of the people that's why it's at discount the discount concept comes now premium 11 rupees let's say the company wants to issue the shares for 10 crore of people but 20 crore of the people are interested so it will increase the amount and that's why the premium the 11 and uh, okay by default preference shares are cumulative and the non-participating if any preference shares it doesn't mention anything then it should be cumulative and the non-participating preference shares now the uncalled amount in shares is six percent okay uh, one thing i would like to say okay whenever there is a, a shares issued and it is saying that the issue price is rupees 
टेन पर शेयर एंड दिस टेन रुपीज इज नॉट पेड एट अ टाइम हाउ वट इट हाउ इट हैपन्स लेट से वेन द एप्लीकेशन इज गिवेन दे विल टेक दे विल टेक फाइव रुपीज एट द टाइम ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन नॉ एट द टाइम ऑफ द अलॉटमेंट दे विल टेक अनदर थ्री रुपीज एंड देर इज लास्ट प्रोसीजर दैट इज कॉल्ड द फर्स्ट कॉल एंड इवन द नेक्स्ट द सेकेंड कॉल फर्स्ट कॉल सेकेंड कॉल एनी द फर्स्ट कॉल दे विल टेक टू रुपीज सो दिस इज हाउ द शेयर्स आर सोल्ड नाउ वेन लेट से इन द एप्लीकेशन इन द लास्ट प्रोसेस वेन दे रिसीव ऑल द टेन रुपीज एंड लेट से द शेयर्स आर ऑफ आर फॉर द टेन करोर ऑफ द पीपल बट दे रिसीव फ्रॉम द ट्वेल्व करोर ऑफ द पीपल बाई सम मिस्टेक और एनी थिंग दे रिसीव मोर अमाउंट दैन वट दे विल डू वट से बी से वेन द अमाउंट इज मोर एंड विच इज कॉल्ड एन अनकॉल्ड अमाउंट बिकॉज द अमाउंट रिक्वायर्ड बाय द कंपनी इज टेन करोर बट द एक्स्ट्रा टू करोर कम्स सो दिस इज एन अनकॉल्ड अमाउंट इन शेयर्स द द कंपनी हैज टू गिव एट लीस्ट सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ द इंटरेस्ट इट्स अ इट्स अ रूल अलाउड और मेड बाय द सेबी द रेगुलेटरी बॉडी ऑफ द शेयर्स और बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सो दैट इट कुड नॉट बी डिफ्रेंशिएटेड ओके द कंसेप्ट ऑफ द शेयर्स प्रोसीजर ओके वन इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग ओके लेट से एप्लीकेशन इज अप्लाइड बाय द हंड्रेड पीपल ओके एंड शेयर्स इज इश्यूड इच शेयर कॉस्ट रुपीज टेन एट द टाइम ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन फाइव रुपीज इज गिवेन एट द अलॉटमेंट थ्री एंड द फर्स्ट कॉल टू रुपीज लेट से एप्लीकेशन वॉज गिवेन बाई हंड्रेड पीपल सो all will pay 5 rupees all 100 will pay 5 rupees but at the time of allotment only 80 people pay the price so the remaining 20 peoples this 5 rupees application cost what does it mean because since only 80 people have given allotment so only 80 people will be given the shares because only 80 given the allotment call now the extra 20 rupees and uh, uh, 5 rupees for 20 person which have not participated in the allotment call i have not paid the allotment money this 20 into 5 100 rupees is extra to the company now this extra is called the forfeit amount it is important for the examination point of view so you must understand it this is a forfeit amount now what is area okay this 20 person the uh, didn't have given the allotment money only 80% given 20% have not given allotment money that is 20 into 3 and this 20 since they have not participated in the allotment they have not paid in the allotment 3 rupees now they will not allow to participate in the first call so the act, again this 20 people will not pay the first call money that is 20 into 2 the amount to So sixty twenty into two that is eighty rupees is called the area money. I hope you understand this concept. I they might ask a small question from this even in the group of the banking inside inside out the Facebook group. I received this uh, problem, so I thought that I will discuss it in the video. Okay, this area we covered this forfeit we covered. now reissue okay only the company wants 100 people to participate but only 80 people participated now what company will do after this process after everything is collected for the 80 and every final call everything is done now a company again reissue it for this 20 the remaining 20 the company issue the shares now but the amount here is 10 rupees now the company has the option that they will reduce this amount to 8 or they will increase the amount it's with the company it's not our issue but they reissue this remaining 20 shares which is which has not been sold in the first go this is reissue now application allotment and first call we have discussed this application allotment in the first call 
it's a procedure it's a different uh, levels that is being prescribed by the sebi so that there sh should be a very uh, butterly process everything is uh, done in a very efficient way that's why this process are prescribed by the sebi or the government now the maximum discount is given to the 10% of the face value face value as mentioned in the moa the maximum discount we could give is with the 10% here for example the 10 rupees and we are discounting we are giving it at 9 rupees so the discount we are giving that is 10% we cannot give at 8 rupees it is not allowed because the discount would be would have would be have um 20% that's why now the important uh, different types of the shares like sweat equity shares and employee stock purchases schemes or employee stock option and uh, this are the shares kind of shares okay what is the difference between uh, sweat equity shares are given to the employee and its directors even ESPS is given to the or uh, ESOPs is given to the employees to uh, employees of the company so what's the difference between the equity shares and the ESPS as many of the many of you have purchased from the bank the ESPS so what you are paying you are paying the amount then you have been allotted the shares but in the sweat equity shares according to the performance you did according to the excellence you show in the company they will allot you the shares they will not take uh, money from you but they will allot you the shares according to the performance of yours so that is sweat equity shares now bonus rights and non voting shares okay what is bonus let's say uh, some of the okay uh, let's say the company has attained some profit and they want to give the reward of that profit to the employees so one option is that either they will give it into the cash i will uh, either they will give the cash or they will issue you the bonus shares that's the bonus shares and what are the rights issue so uh, we have discussed that the maximum authorized shares that the company is allowed that is we have discussed that is 50 crore let's say but in the first quote the company only issued 10 crore of the shares so this 10 crore of the people who has the shares and when the company again issue let's say uh, in the second uh, uh, after uh, two to three years from the first issuing of the shares issued another 20 crore shares so these 20 crore shares are offered to the previous person who has taken the shares of their company will be offered first and if they are not allowed then it will go to the public if they uh, if they are interested if they take all these 20 crore shares then it will not go to the public so and if they have not taken the shares and this is called the rights because when uh, further when the shares are issued it will first offer to the already existing shareholders and if they are not interested then it will go to the public this is called the rights issue now the non voting shares what is non voting shares there are two types of the shares that is voting and non voting uh, shares what do you mean by having a share having a share means you are the owner you are a part owner of the company so you are the part owner of the company so you have the right to attend the board meetings but the board meetings could only be attended by the person who has a very high percentage of the ownership that only persons could participate in the board of meeting so there are two types of the share issued some of the person let's say some person has taken 25 percent of the shares of the any company so he has a majority of the shareholding so he could participate in the board's meetings and he could influence the decisions making of the company so there are two kinds of the person the one who wants to participate and another who doesn't wants to participate so the one who wants to participate they have they are called the voting shares but the one who doesn't want to participate in the votings or anything then it is called a non voting shares and in the non voting shares if someone has taken for the non voting shares they are being provided some of the uh, benefits like they are they are being pr given more dividends they are provided more bonus and all everything is, is in the preference way okay we have done this we have also for future examples we have taken these examples and we have done this i think this is important this 
things are important for this chapter 17 and the 18 the company accounts uh, okay all the best for the tomorrow exam thank you